topic for tonight is options buying and risk management which i feel is uh, uh, i mean it's it's an amazing topic to be learning from you sir बिल्कुल विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लोग इंतजार कर ही रहे हैं हम लोग बिल्कुल शुरू करते हैं तो सबसे पहले सर ऑप्शन बाइंग में आई वुड लव टू स्टार्ट विद योर स्ट्रैटेजी अ लिटिल बिट इफ यू कैन गेट अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ इट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली डू यू डू एंड हाउ हाउ डज द मैजिक हैपन सर ओके फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट गुड इवनिंग टू एवरी थैंक्स फॉर टेकिंग योर टाइम एंड ज्वाइनिंग द स्पेस Uh, guys it's a pleasure uh, for inviting me and uh, yeah whatever that uh, we can discuss we will in the next uh, whatever 30 40 50 minutes uh, basically uh, the way i look at things uh, be- before i before i start about the strategy and whatever in this small time i would say ki when i actually started doing you know bit of an option bank because of a uh, lack of capital b Uh, bit of stigma on the leverage aspect on you know taking uh, leverage from the broker and all that not many people who kind of know where into buying and uh, wherever i kind of know uh, went to seek any answers or kind of clarifications and everything uh, i was kind of know uh, kind of know given the advice that no you should not be doing buying and if you do buying there is no scale up that can be done uh, it's a losers game uh, uh, i i think uh, there are lot many adjectives that can be put put over in the process of you no know, buying uh, i i am glad that uh, i did not listen to all of them because of the fact ki maybe over a period of time by then i had started seeing the uh, so called magic as you said uh, through option buying and i somehow had the conviction ki it can be kind of you no know, quite uh, good if if it done quite nicely and uh, thankfully i came across uh, nandi sir i think he was the first guy i uh, kind of you know uh, listened very very carefully because he had so much of insight uh, as as a directional trader else each and every one were talking about non directional aspect of trading so uh, my first uh, this thing is that ki i think you know uh, try to not that ki selling is bad not that ki buying is uh, good but the fact of the matter as a trader uh, try to identify your dna i keep telling that Uh, as a trader we must and uh, should know what is the edge uh, that uh, we are okay with um, you know what kind of you no know, return that you want to have what kind of capital you want to deploy what kind of risk management that you want to have so 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 these are the few answers that we must uh, have before we get into any aspect of trading be it uh, buying selling cash future doesn't really matter so buying is just one way of you know uh, kind of you no know, manifesting your uh, you know trading acumen or whatever that is there so i would say uh, before any strategy before anything first uh, must have an idea what you want to do and then uh, what once you know okay, okay this is the path i want to kind of you no know, trade i want to trade cash trades uh, cash stocks i want to trade futures i want to do selling then you develop the strategy whatever so the blueprint has to be there what exactly you need to do uh, and 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 bring that proficiency to do better over a period of time so for first i think before getting to any strategy and anything first uh, know the trading dna that you're born with and what you can adopt and uh, kind of you no know, uh, can can grow with uh, as as you go with your trading journey so that is number one uh, secondly i think uh, most of the time there are a lot of myths regarding key um, no matter how good the uh, how up and up no beginner level mein trader hai ya advanced level hai everybody knows about theta theta dk and uh, theta dk se paisa jata hai i think that's a big misconception is yes, theta dk se paisa jata hai that is that is uh, that is there but at the same time that doesn't mean ki there is no other way to make money so try to find out ki uh, if you if you at all want to be an option buyer or directional trader uh, do not ever uh, think about theta and that's a cost that you pay to kind of you no know, bring home the delta right you cannot expect not to pay any cost uh, we drive a uber pay a cost but we reach the destination right uh, so so theta is that is like that we as a profit if we want to be profitable trader there is some amount of you know uh, cost aspect we need to bear with as a seller uh, the person has to take care of the gamma kind of thing right so as as a buyer i think you know first thing first you just take out the fear factor that you know theta dk rahega and uh, you know i'll not be able to make money and that is not true uh, do not ever get worried about the theta thing yes before uh, getting to the theta aspect ask yourself ki why you are inside the trade why you taking a call option or put option or whatever that is there 
if if those answers are not having the clarity i'm pretty sure ki theta answer would not also have the clarity so when i buy options i do not ever think about theta aspect i think about whether uh, the conviction in buying is there or not if if i take a call or a put uh, do i have a scope of of you know delta drifting do i have a scope of pyramiding scalping whatever that is there so these are the questions that i kind of you know ask myself uh, to begin with before taking any trade thirdly if i can uh, talk about this uh, people i i get lot of dms questions ki option buying mein scale up nahi ho sakta i think you know uh, it, partly it is true yes in a stock option i might not be uh, having that uh, kind of no liquidity that kind of no volume and things like that but when i come to index options uh, i can give it in a lot of uh, audacity a lot of uh, clarity that uh, there is absolutely no dearth of you know uh, liquidity there is no dearth of this thing so um you can do n number of you no know, whatever i think i have done dealt with uh, massive quantities and uh, i can tell you with lot of confidence that um, you can do scale up you can certainly scale up there is no question about it but whether you want to scale up or not that's a different story but let's not say it cannot be scaled up it is true. It, it is these are kind of you no know, if i may say uh, uh, coming from people who would not know the game um uh, I, i i can certainly say that there are so many people who discuss me ki bank se paisa nahi banta hai maybe if i would have heard them i would have never believed ki na bank mein paisa banta hai so basically i think you know before matlab i'm not giving any gyan by any means i'm just sharing my experience my point of view that i'm trying to put it over here is that uh, once you get into the buying aspect buying mode or uh, trying to try to give more emphasis in uh, kind of no delta gamma th- those are the greens that will help you to make money even long vega you can do that is also that is still fine uh, but delta and gamma is what i am looking at i do not bother about theta uh, when we talk about option buying uh, it's it's not like a you know um if 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 you have 100 rupees uh, capital i'll put all my 100 rupees uh, into option buying that is a mistake people do it uh, because they think he, you know that uh, every day we'll have a jackpot trade it does happen once in a while once in a blue moon that you know uh, 15 rupees ka option suddenly has become 100 rupees and we start believing ki this is going to be a normalcy it does happen like that uh and and uh, people should not be expecting jackpot every now and then yes it is there but you have to dig in deep you have to kind of you know if you have to find uh, kind of you know that kind of you know jackpot you and it market does offer that it's not that it doesn't offer but you have to dig in deep and it, it is doable uh thirdly uh, try to kind of you know play with uh, say yeah i was coming to that point so let, let's say if you have a capital of say 100 rupees do not deploy maybe 25% 30% in option buying at any point of time you should always have a buffer you should always have the heart to uh, book your losses at the earliest possible the first sign when you think your things are not working out you need to book your loss uh, it is not that ki main yahan pe adjustment kar lunga yahan pe main you know uh, i'll put more capital uh, average out the option price i bought in and things like that uh, it doesn't work like that uh, this this there are different rules of the game for option buying option selling futures or cash or whatever option buying may the first rule that you must remember never ever average the same strike price with the if the prices have gone down yes uh, every now and then uh, things will come back and you know average the price ban jata hai but if you can inculcate that discipline that you know i'll never buy something a very cheap b uh, because my uh, original price has come down from 100 to 50 so me 50 me buy karunga and I'll, it goes to 75 i'll be break even don't do that i think uh, uh, the chances are that you know you try to buy the uh, previous strike price jo ki pehle 70 80 60 delta me hoga which has become 30 40 delta atm jo abhi naya atm ban chuka hai hi really let's say just to make it little clear let's say 17000 pe nifty hai you bought 17000 tomorrow there is a gap down this is 16900 16800 now obviously 17000 ka jo call hai that will be obviously going down right so do not buy 17000 ka call if you still having the conviction that market is a dip and i'm going to buy this dip do not buy 17000 but buy the new atm that has been formed maybe 16800 16900 whatever the case may be so so never ever average that i think that's the uh, one rule that you should always remember if you do not want to have kind of carry that position so whatever you can book your losses that is all fine but uh, don't get into the uh, damage control mode uh, because maybe uh by doing so we will not be able kind of you know 
um, kind of you know, come out break even or profitable most of the time. Either you cut your losses or maybe go down to the newly formed you know ATM, and that is how. Because the fact of the matter, losses uh, let's say hypothetically it is going above seventeen thousand. As well as the losses me, which call buy kiye the, that anyway is going to give you profit, and it is going to give you much better profit, accelerated profit than the seventeen thousand ka call. So try to kind of you know do that you know uh, delta drift on the lower side of the strike price. The lowest type price rather so so this is this is one uh, where you know you do not ever <clears throat> average your option that you have bought in any strike price try to kind of you know uh, adopt the new atm uh, do not deploy more than 25 30% of your uh, this thing uh, capital in option buying uh, no matter what how conviction until unless you have created n number of buffer and there is a huge capital profit that is there which is that's a different story uh, But the most of the time, if you want to be disciplined and let's say consistently, pay up, go banana net through option buying. Do not put more than twenty, twenty-five percent, thirty percent, maybe. And I can tell you with again with a lot of experience and everything. Uh, let's say most of the traders would agree that you know people would want to kind of have let's say four, five percent return a month or three, four percent return a month. You can you can actually generate that three, four percent, five percent return. Utilizing only thirty percent of your capital, if your analysis is correct, if your uh, data analysis is correct, the way you have analyzed certain script, index, whatever that is correct, you can aram se make four 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 to five percent on that. You know, thirty percent, twenty five percent of your capital development me. Leave out that sixty five seventy percent just to give you that mental buffer. That even if something goes wrong, it's only twenty five percent of my capital is stake. So so that is one way to kind of you know create that layers of you know. uh defense layer uh, before before you know uh, any kind of you no know, black swan that happens which can take out your capital so don't do that uh never ever go for 2015 delta ki let's say nifty 17000 will buy 17600 weekly ka call 500 ka call no matter how bullish the market is uh, do not buy cheap uh, options cheap always buy options uh, with a bit of premium good premium and try to sell it higher so if if i have a option if i have a choice of you now buying uh, 17000 17100 17300 uh, ka call uh, i would rather go at 17000 ka call uh, if nifty is at around 17000 rather than buying something which is 17400 is just that you know you try to place yourself within mean you know within within the market price so that even if the profit is there the profit could be there because of you know decent delta being in your side even if the loss is there you know ki this loss is because of the delta bleed not because of theta and my analysis has gone wrong another thing more, i'll come back to this point in case i forget uh, most of the time options buy or lose money as i i do not know about others for b i lose money because of uh, i bleed delta my my conviction has gone wrong my direction sense of direction has gone wrong and uh, my delta is bleeding so something which i bought around maybe 50 60 delta 70 delta 40 delta whatever those delta is bleeding because uh, nifty instead of going up or kind of trend up it has gone down so i will lose the delta so i lose the money because of delta not because of theta so the first misconception most of us who wants to be an option buyer or rather wants to kind of you know get into this side of the you know trading uh, pattern i would say ki never ever get uh, afraid of theta it's, it's just a kind of you no know, myth that has been created around ki theta se paisa jata hai you try to obviously you not buy something which is should not be buying something which is around 10 20 delta and try to make money out of it कभी कभी होता है ऐसा नहीं कि नहीं होता है दस बीस डेल्ट ऐसा बनता है पचास डेल्ट भी हो जाता है बट दैट दो आर वन ऑफ्स राइट वन ऑफ्स कैन नॉट बी योर रेगुलर ब्रेड एंड बटर वे ऑफ नो मेकिंग मनी सो ट्राई टू कीप योर सेल्फ एटीएम निफ्टी नीचे आता है आपका कन्विक्शन स्ट्रॉन्ग एड बिट ऑफ नो क्वान्टिटी वन लॉट टू लॉट एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट start small and do bit of you no know, pyramid in scalping and i'm pretty sure at least even if you do not make money in uh, kind of you no know, stock you'd certainly be definitely making in index if you have a sense of direction correct and why is that uh, my, the way i look at it market is not that ki uh, ki you know every day basis you know a nifty and bank nifty should give me say 100 points nifty bank nifty you know 400 points nifty not bank nifty 400 points ke rally not literally like that Uh, my point is ki uh, if we can have a sense of you know how the market is behaving how the texture is getting built up you'd say you see a sense of you know okay how exactly the whole picture is going to unfold 
right you see a trailer you go to a movie hall you see for the 10 minutes 15 minutes kind of an experience the you know the level of you no know, direction that is there the level of you know editing is there or whatever x y z that is there and uh, you would expect some better climax some better ending uh, and that is exactly what as a trader i need to first uh, feel the texture of the market uh, first i need to know whether i am in sync with the market or not uh, if i am not in sync no matter how much of you know so called uh, directional trading i want to do delta drifting and i want to do it will not be successful you have to feel the market within yourself ki okay fine this is how the market market is going to behave absolutely correct that you know you're not going to be su- succeeding every now and then and uh, over a period of time you will have failures also um there is no doubt on that but when it clicks it clicks really really big time so so i would rather lose you know 10 times you know uh, 10 rupees but when i make money uh, i should be making around 500 rupees and that is the game here you lose small ensure that stop loss is there your cap- risk management is there i'm not putting more than 20% 30% of my capital at any given point of time and i can only increase i can only increase the stake in the game when i'm profitable So thing like this if if i were if i am a buyer and i'm losing money it will not give me that you know uh, your your trading uh, uh, what is a personality should not be giving you the permission to go aggressive you should always be thinking okay i'm not making money how the hell can i can i add up quantity or whatever that is there so first you need to prove to yourself and trust me you don't have to show to the twitter world the mtm screenshot and everything you yourself would know how good or how bad you are doing right uh if you if you ha- you get into a drawdown period uh, recently i had got to a drawdown period of good two months kind of period kind of thing uh, and it was bad so so it's not that ki every time uh, i would end up make money and uh, i know for sure ki these drawdowns and th- these drawdowns are good uh, be it which kind of trader you are buyer seller future whatever these drawdowns are actually going to test your uh, skill set and the the more you come out of these drawdowns the better it is because it will kind of you know purify the system if i may put it in that way it will uh, take you to a place where your confidence level is completely different it's like you know you go to the war you get defeated over a period of time but you just know your game you just know when you're going to bounce back it is it not necessarily i have to be a winner every day every hour every minute no not necessarily but i just need one that big solid uh, you know game where you know it takes care of you know maybe seven eight sessions ka uh, choppiness and whatever but you have to be prepared to spot that kind of opportunity i think that is where you know the game begins matlab uh, you know i'm just going little kind of you no know, uh, different layer right now in terms of you know how exactly psychologically you can prepare yourself uh, the way i look at it matlab you no know, forget about buying selling whatever xyz that we are doing i think market pays you for the conviction aapke paas conviction nahi hai but trust me you will be a, just an average trader pay money uh, to the market to build that conviction if my conviction is there ki no matter how much the drawdown is i can turn it around that's it i think i think that is what is needed as a trader Uh, uh, I'll, i'll just tell you a very um, small example matlab you know uh, again matlab i might get drifted um, kindly allow me to uh, i think you know maybe that will get a better definitely sir this is awesome listening to you please continue sir okay yeah okay um, i think i think uh, uh, if you all remember uh, 24th 25th of february when russia declared the war and you know there was a fight and during the day bank uh, nifty nifty all were crashing down we were down and uh, so the positions that i had built over a period of uh, from 11 am to 3:30 pm uh, that had significant profit uh, decent amount of profit uh, with all the portfolio whatever that is there uh, should not be less than 14 15 share maybe and and uh, so i was confident ki, okay so so then i went aggressive around 3 o'clock times because of the fact i had already made this much of profit and this profit is my kind of you known zone of defense correct uh, defense in the sense ki uh, in case something goes wrong this profit is my buffer anyway it is not going to encroach upon my previous week ka pro- profit or let's say my capital but this is my defense layer right and i went aggressive uh, ended the day with uh, kind of a very good profit and uh, if you all remember i think uh, uh, mr biden said you know they are not going to send the troops and the war is not so basically uh, the Uh, the kind of no uh, input that was taken that uh, 
मतलब यूएस इज नॉट ज्वाइनिंग द वर्ड दिस इज नॉट थर्ड थर्ड वर्ल्ड वॉर एंड आई थिंक शुड बी फाइंड राइट वेन नेरेटिंग द स्टोरी इज दिस नाउ there is a time when you just know that you know you have grabbed the thing completely under your control right and that day was mine and uh, 24th or uh, 25th february whatever that day was i had that sense that everything is kind of absolutely fine uh, then comes the shocker at morning uh, 4 o'clock maybe 3 34 and i saw suddenly dow which was 900 points down when i slept by 11:30 is uh, 90 points up and asx nifty uh, which was down by 250 points uh, post our closing is up by around uh, 300 points and i just knew that you know maybe a couple of months profit is gone and i that that happened to be my one of my worst trading nightmare if i may say and uh, i lost big i lost maybe around 30 40 kind of thing i think i think that that literally bit you know, shook me up okay, okay fine i because we all graduate over a period of time it's not that ki in a single day you start kind of from making some profit or making some losses once you know okay, okay fine this is my digestible profit this is my digestible loss my digestible loss has not been ever more than say maybe uh, eight times here in a day and that day it was where i was staring at 40 kind of thing now this is the point i'm trying to make uh, forget about the numbers or whatever uh, uh, did i feel bad hurt uh, yes absolutely i was uh, horribly sad ki okay fine this is what has happened and uh, all the so not only that i had a loss of whatever figure that i'm talking about also i lost the uh, mtm profit that i saw the previous day correct so the swing if you see it is good it is a solid swing now i did not have an idea because i don't have a back test ki how soon i can recover this money now i'm talking about now we are in say july i think you know in the last uh, two months uh, um, the whatever loss that happened that day it has kind of not taken care of and plus there is a 30 40% profit that has been created uh, in last two months time the point that i'm trying to make it is not the profit loss we just uh, you know we just uh, create this imaginary figure okay okay fine boss this is what i can do and this is what i cannot do i think you just need to challenge yourself how well uh, you know your game how well you can uh, have a good recovery rate how well you can redefine your system re kind of you know adjust your system how exactly you play your risk management and everything and and you just have to hang around and hang around in a manner ki once you obviously have a loss you cannot be aggressive it's like you know your innings is over right so you are playing at let's say 200 250 uh, runs and suddenly you're out it's not that like in next innings you when you come to bat you start thinking you are at 250 plus no that's not the case and over here i'm injured and you know there's a drawdown and whatever that is there so you start small you take singles you take twos and threes and over a period of time you make it a routine ki now you're kind of you know, in the business i think whichever form of trading that we do uh, we need to have that you know uh, question from ourselves from our conscience ki how good you are you can fake the whole world you can fake the twitter community you can fake the family friends xyz but all of us know we cannot fake ourselves and the moment you know ki this is my strength it really doesn't matter matlab whoever is talking whatever ki kon kitna paisa bana hai kon kitna kis method se paisa bana sakta nahi bana sakte ho it really doesn't matter it really ever it has never occurred to me or never ever i have gone to that line ki who has made what much of money i really feel bad when traders lose money because maybe because of the fact ki in my own journey as a trader i have lost a lot and i have gone through quite a bit of no kind of no setbacks and i do not generally even if i do not know the as a trader i really don't want anybody to lose money or you know lose their uh, capital or savings or whatever that is there but but at the same time on the other side of it it has never occurred to me ki who is doing how good or whatever that is there because the focus and the area of you know the thing that i look at ki if i have done 10 yesterday can i do 10.2 today can i do 10.5 tomorrow can can i do 11 day after tomorrow and if i am going down then there are lot of introspections that happen in terms as a trader uh, it 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 really doesn't matter buying selling future cash kya kare it really doesn't matter but if you can have the answer to you to yourself ki aap kis type ka strategy mein trading karna chahte ho kahan pe where exactly your mojo you know where exactly your edge and if you can define and identify that trust me leave the noise out just focus on your own craft and you'll see over a period of 1 year 6 months 2 year you'll be different personality altogether
and i i I'll tell you something like you no know, when i was talking i was reaching out to different people for you know option buying me kaise karte and things like that uh, there is this expert to kind of you know, i spoke to uh, kind of you no know, he was like you know uh, you cannot scale up to abhi 2 3 crore mein kar deta hai ye agar 25 crore aayega to 10 crore aayega to you cannot do it and i was obviously kind of shattered because i was to i used to look up to that guy and uh, su- coming something from somebody experienced it was like oh okay maybe obviously it is true you cannot do it so first thing you cut down the noise don't listen to the so called experts including me do whatever that you feel that you can do there should not be ever a boundary ki boss uh, buying me scale up nahi ho sakta these statements come from the people who have never ever done a buying b never ever had done scale up or whatever that kind of thing and this is my personal just thing I, without any disrespect to anyone i think इट जस्ट लाइक दिस की यू नो अगर आप सेवा को फुलटोज डालोगे अगर सिक्स नहीं मारेगा यूल भी किकिंग हिमसेल्फ अप मुझे कंसिस्टेंसी रिटर्न में लेट से हाइपोथेटिकली कोच विल से यू प्लीज मेक वन रन टू रन एवरी बॉल छह रन सात रन बनाना है ओवर का हमें तीन सौ रन पहुंचना है trading doesn't work like that there are days when you make one run two runs and there is there are days when you see that opportunity is there you you have to go for a six i went for a six on 24th of february i failed miserably but does that mean i'll not repeat myself again when i see that kind of opportunity i'll very well time do it matlab uh, after a period again it's my matlab experience this number this profit loss becomes a number you know i i'm absolutely fine with the number going down or going up but i'll not never be fine if i lose my conviction if i lose my uh, point of view or my you know rational for why i'm doing a trade um, i think those are the things that are important more than the profit loss figure up you can do a lot of back testing you can kind of you know talk about uh, strategies and everything end of the day another aspect of trading is that you have to pull the trigger there are so many good people i see in twitter i know personally they're brilliant chatters they put down some great analysis when it comes to trading नहीं यार ये कर लेंगे तो वो फिर मार्केट टूट गया तो अगर लॉस हो जाएगा तो आई थिंक आई थिंक यू नीड टू गेट टू दैट स्टेज ऑफ ट्रेडिंग वाई यू डू नॉट एवर हैव टू थिंक अगर ये हो जाएगा तो क्या होगा राइट right? अगर वो फियर फैक्टर को हम थोड़ा नहीं निकालेंगे जहन से वील ऑलवेज बी अंडर दैट प्रेशर की यार हाँ यार मतलब लेट मी लेट मी कैन ऑफ नो बी लिटिल केयरफुल आई एम नॉट सेंग यू बी irrationally aggressive i am not saying ki anybody needs to do any discretionary trading or whatever like that you be systematic and you be systems trading but uh, there are times you know when the market is giving you that opportunity ki okay fine things are looking good and you may be looking for success you should very well do that if you're not able to kind of you know spot that opportunity then then the game is yet to begin for you and and again on another note uh, when people say ki uh you know most of the time market are non directional uh, market is always in a range uh, bullshit uh, is is absolutely not the right thing uh, tell me when is the last time you have seen nifty gone between say 30 plus minus 30 points or bank nifty has gone plus minus 100 points that is for me the as a intraday trader for a one two day trader that is for me a sideways thing right uh, i i think most of the time market is in a trend uh, you have to you have to find uh, find that you know um the spark you have to find that uh, spotlight key where exactly it is happening if the index is not moving that is some stock some liquid stock must be moving and you have to dig into find out key where exactly it is happening losses will be there it uh, we are in a business where we breathe money we breathe uh, kind of you no know, risk management we breathe in the sense key okay fine we are losses profit but until unless we do not trade with the fact key uh, you know you know लॉसेस अगर हुआ तो मैं कैसे रिकवर करूंगा इफ दैट कैन ऑफ नो क्वेश्चन मार्क इज देयर आई थिंक दैट प्रोफेशंस एज अ ट्रेडर हैज नॉट गॉन टू द ऑप्टिमल लेवल आई थिंक ऑप्टिमल लेवल ये होगा यस लॉसेस विल बी देयर एंड आई एम ओके विद द लॉसेस बिकॉज़ व्हेन आई मेक प्रॉफिट देयर विल बी मतलब वेरी लेस टाइम दैट यू नो इट विल बी लेस देन वेरी स्मॉल नंबर एंड एंड अगेन आई एम नॉट कैन ऑफ नो Uh, with due respect um, i'm not trying to offend anyone i'm not trying to say this right method is right or that method is wrong but one of the biggest thing in option buying is that uh, the roi that you can generate uh, people might say ki okay ye to ek din mein ho jayega do din mein kabhi kabhi ho jata hai it's not like that i i think consistently if you are a very kind of you no know, seasoned trader and if you know your game properly 
you can definitely look at double digit return in option buying uh, does that happen in overnight does that happen in a year's time six months time no of course not you have to spend that much of time to understand the rules of the game uh, where exactly you you kind of you know bleed and where exactly you might get injured but at the same time over a period of time i think um, as a buyer this is possible trust me this is possible and and i'm not again saying you go aggressive every now and then uh, not not necessarily but uh, i would go aggressive when when uh, you know there is uh, the options are having a breathing room to play uh, matlab you know the options are no, not in the no man's land where they're not doing anything and it's just in a range and not oh, yeah fine you leave the this thing and another thing i think i have i have received this thing ki agar aap option buying karo to how exactly you do will you cap kind of utilize the whole capital i i again find that uh, funny matlab why exactly are we in the game of trading to utilize the whole capital or are we in the game to make profit uh, i guess uh, the second answer is the thing that we are looking at right we are here to make money we are not here to compete ki main kitna percentage capital mein deploy kar chuka hu so 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 basically you don't have to uh, and that is how buying uh, you know uh, the benefit of buying you don't have to really take care of you know entire capital or you know 80 90 percent of the capital until and unless uh, you have that kind of you no know, profit that has been created and and you can play on those profits another another way you know as a trader you can develop is that you know let's say let's say you have 100 rupees as capital right over a period of you know few months few quarters over a period of a year try to make that you know profit maybe you know from 100 to say 200 to 300 to 400 to 500 and things like that right so now the new capital if it is 500 so and let's say you are taking any point of time let's say 10% of the risk or 15% of the risk now that 10% is coming from the profit that you have created right it is not coming from the capital so always have that mind game with you and you have to have this mind games with yourself ki agar ye loss hota hai kitna point of my profit is you know going as a loss the moment you start thinking ki okay 500 is my capital and wahan se mera loss ho gaya uh, the the mind reacts in a different way right so so basically try to think okay fine mera 100 rupees ka beginning capital tha on the month of year of this this time and it has gone to say 500 now 400 is my cap- profit hypothetically i'm saying don't go by the numbers and percentages and everything but but you can say okay fine now 400 say can i take say 10% ka risk 40 rupees so my new capital in case something goes wrong my new profit would be 360 rupees not 400 rupees ka profit i am okay with that so basically you need to earn that uh, that right that uh, that uh, you know permission from your own trading discipline to go aggressive when you only when when you have reached to that stage that you know you have created layer of def- defense in front of you char pants layer of defense so think about it my capital has to go down by 100 time 100 points four times before it reaches to my uh, kind of my capital my profit 400 rupees ka bana chuka hu तो पहले 50 जाएगा फिर 50 जाएगा सो एट टाइम्स जैसे फिफ्टी रुपीज इज योर यू नो रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एट टाइम्स इट यू हैव टू गो रॉयली रॉन्ग बिफोर इट गोज टू द पॉइंट ऑफ कैपिटल सो आई थिंक दैट इज वेन द होल गेम चेंजेस वेन यू डू नॉट हैव दैट मच ऑफ फ्यूर फैक्टर इन योर सेल्फ एंड यू जस्ट प्ले विद प्रॉफिट प्रॉफिट से प्रोसेस गए तो ठीक है आई कैन मैनेज इट सो फ्यू थिंग्स मतलब दिस इज हाउ यू कैन मैनेज द रिस्क फर्स्ट यू ब्रिंग टू योर सेल्फ टू दैट पॉइंट वेर यू कैन एक्चुअली पुट डाउन दैट मच ऑफ कैपिटल इन ऑप्शन बाइंग डोंट डू दैट फर्स्ट क्रिएट दैट लेयर ऑफ डिफेंस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ट्राई टू बी प्रॉफिटेबल इन ए मैनर नॉट टू आंसर एनी बडी एल्स बट यू नो ये ये हमारा जो माइंड है ना दिस दिस एज ए यूनिक मेमोरी बैंक uh for me i can tell you on the dates i have lost money hugely i can tell you dates when i have made money kind of you no know, hugely so basically you have to create that you know positive you know uh um, kind of you no know, emotions in your uh, you know uh, mind uh, understanding ki how exactly how exactly you have made money in certain days what are the things that you saw Uh, i think that visualization is also matlab i'm maybe i'm again drifting but that visualization of you know you coming out as a winner will also give you lot of you know positive uh, kind of you no know, reflection of about yourself if you st- start thinking negative ki nahi mera ye uh, loss ho jayega mera loss ja chuka hai losses hoin gaya and, and and trust me if you want to make big you have to lose there is no way you can escape Uh, losses until and in case you want to make profit humongous profit or wealth out of the market 
until the time you do not lose uh, how exactly you will make big profit it's just not possible but to but but to come to that point where you, things can go wrong everything your setup is absolutely correct but still market kind of you no know, went down against you and you lost money you have to have that kya bolte gurda or maybe that you know stomach to digest okay fine this loss has come now let me go back to the previous drawdown period how much time did i take to recover my losses and uh, how exactly do i take now so when i was talking about that february period um, yeah it was bad um, no doubt it was bad but at the same time uh, did i ever question my ability definitely not i just knew it will happen i just knew that the drawdown will be over over a period of time i ob- obviously because of that kind of drawdown i have never faced so i never knew ki when it will happen but i knew it will be done so 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 that confidence as a trader i think you know is a very very crucial thing more than the strategy more than the kind of you no know, anything else i think that gut feel uh, that you know you are good and you can make money whichever kind of you no know, mode of opportunity that you choose to that's a different story you can make money so agar ye conviction aa jayega because of your system trading or because of the executions or because of your conviction and uh, then then there is a game to be played in the market i'm not sure how many of you kind of you know would have heard me in uh, cnbc hours that you know when market when bank nifty was around 34300 or maybe 400 ke range mein i talked about 36000 ka call in bank nifty for 28 july at that time it was 135 rupees uh, so so of course on tv i cannot tell them to kind of you know do, cannot explain or whatever but imagine a 1600 points ka rally in bank nifty and we are talking about you know delta drifting from 34500 to say 36000 and it has on the day date of expiry we were more than um, kind of 36500 if i'm not wrong so total of 2000 points imagine the kind of you no know, delta drifting you can do imagine the kind of you know buying that you can do and and what happens so you first get into 36500 uh, sorry um, 34000 i'm sorry yeah 35500 and uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Thirty-four thousand five hundred. You st- you start making money from thirty-four thousand five hundred. Take a call, then go to thirty-four six hundred, then thirty-four seven hundred. By the time you do three delta drifting, three strike price, four strike price, with the conviction that you know market is going up. Of course, there will be dips, and it's not that key. I bought hundred thirty-six. I never buy out of the money call or anything to do with a monthly call any which way. But at the same time, uh, I I also bought uh, puts in between. Not that I did not buy puts uh, in between, but the midterm trend was up, and it was looking like a bank Nifty was having a this thing of you know fifteen hundred point. This is like uh, this is like a trade for the whole year. Pandra solar sa point ke bank Nifty ke rally is 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 like absolutely legendary, if I may say. In a period of you know just one expiry, you just have to focus ki how much of delta drifting that you have to do, which are the stocks that you know to look at and things like that. So, 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 so it is there. It's not that it is that difficult, uh, but at the same time, if you can convince yourself and see past uh, past uh, examples of you know you doing good whenever you saw some kind of you no know, setup happening in the previous time, now it is happening again. Uh, you are in the game. So, do not, but my my point is that ki uh, do not ever fear that you know ये ले लूँगा loss हो जाए तो क्या करूँगा? If you are fearful, you cannot make wealth. and that is as simple as that the biggest of wealth will come when you are not fearful and you you back your research you back your conviction you back your gut feel ki why it is might why it might happen in this way and you will be profitable so my my point is ki get into that stage when um, you know there is no element called uh, kind of you no know, fear and if you are an option buyer no element of a greek called theta and 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 uh, then do your research do your uh, kind of an analysis uh, how exactly you can you can uh, make money and uh, yeah matlab i'm pretty sure ki you know trading se profit banta and then not only that i i keep telling people who kind of you know believe me or listen to me ki the kind of money that can be made in trading uh, trust me i doubt ki is type of return aur kahin pe mil sakta hai so not offending to anyone um, uh, i'm not in the game to make 3 4% a month I if I if I have to do that I can very well retire from my trading journey and then I'll make four five percent a month and that that's it. मतलब I'm here to make you know maybe double digits higher double digits and things like that because uh, not because to a impress anyone or b to convince anyone it is doable because I have seen this happening. I have seen this happening of you know say 
in a month and a sizable eight figure capital i made let's say 40% 50% not that every month i i, I kind of aspire myself to do something like that but it is doable yes absolutely it is doable so if not that every month is turning out to be a july month but who needs a month of july every month no i don't need it so so option buyers don't need to be in the business of trading every hour every minute and things like that my best of trades come between 9:15 to 10:30 and 2 to 3:30 and i i really don't feel the need of me spending that emotional capital between 11 to 2 kind of thing even if market is going somewhere maybe 30 40 points i try to get the maximum juice in the first 15 20 minutes 30 minutes and that is how it is for which the preparation begins at 2 pm the previous day i try to scale up i try to see pyramiding and try to do delta drifting and over a period of uh, by the time market goes you have a sense whether uh, you going to have a decent up rally or down rally or nothing if the sense is nothing then yeah matlab you don't have to kind of no take any aggressive trade or whatever but over a period of time i have realized take from 9:15 to say 11 if you were to make money this is a zone as a buyer i'm saying i'm not talking about selling i don't have an expertise on that but this is a zone where you make the maximum money if i'm not making money during these two time zones i better not be there in the business of trading the whole day and so the time zone selection is also quite critical if you're a buyer because uh, you need not only trend but also you need momentum to back it up uh, you also need to find out ki matlab uh, no if if you if you have made decent profit at no circumstances i would like to give it back to the market so that is another theory so let's say hypothetically i want to earn 50 rupees a day right i've already earned uh, maybe 80 rupees 100 rupees by 10 30 11 I don't need to be in the uh, market because uh, the the more I trade, I might have a possibility to returning maybe uh, that money that I have earned uh, till eleven thirty, eleven o'clock back to the market, right? I don't want that, and I have I have I have lost so many days, so many days where I have uh, over traded myself, I have uh, overestimated my skill set, I overestimated my you know. Uh, technical and analysis part kind of thing and in over a period of time i just knew okay okay fine this is a zone where you can hit the success maximum and then it is about ones and twos and i'm not interested for a ones and twos so never excited to kind of you know, be in the market post 11 until unless is a trend day until unless you see okay okay fine the whole day market is going to trend up so that's a different story but again as once you stay long in the market you definitely know ki which are the days which are going to be trending non trending or maybe uh, kind of you no know, inverted u or kind of you no know, the u kind of formation that is happening i think over a period of time you get that knowledge so uh, preparation is key uh, conviction is key uh, execution is key and uh, i don't personally i do not emphasize to make money every day but uh, when it is there to be made i i i absolutely have no doubt um, i'll go all in i'll make the maximum i'll take out the maximum juice that would be offered by the market so so i would say that is over a period of time that kind of you know, conviction has crept in okay, okay fine i just know i can do it so i, I of course i'll fail and i do fail and i do fail uh, number of times but uh, that's just part of the game matlab which business that uh, is there where you know, there is no loss so agar लॉस नहीं होगा करके कोई बिजनेस में अपना बिजनेस स्टार्ट करेगा एम प्रिटी शो की वाइंडिंग ऑफ इज बिजनेस प्रिटी सुन राइट सो वी विल हैव लॉसेस वी विल हैव बैड डेज वी विल हैव एक्सीडेंट्स बट दैट्स हाउ वी ग्रो राइट दैट्स हाउ वी कैन ऑफ नो हील आवर पेन एंड अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट इज की द काइंड ऑफ ड्रॉडाउन दैट आई केम आउट आउट ऑफ द लास्ट टू मंथ्स पीरियड दैट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट कॉन्फिडेंस इज कैन नॉट बी टॉट इट इट हैज टू बी ऑन फ्रॉम द मार्केट यू इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑन इट in nobody can teach you ki how to deal with it matlab you know it's just like you know uh, uh, you have fever right uh, uh, you only know how much of your body is kind of you no know, aching or paining or what kind of you no know, symptoms that you have and things like that people will be there to support you give medicines whatever but you have to deal with it if you are inside a tunnel in a train you only have to go through it nobody is going to kind of you no know, take a ride for you so losses are good if you are not encountering uh, big losses that means you are too conservative big losses are good not that ki intentionally you make some big losses obviously that is not the thing but uh, losses are good i i somehow think we learn the maximum when there is a loss uh, we just fine tune ourselves fine tune our uh, uh, complacency factor um, fine tune how exactly not to repeat the blunder again 
and uh, over a period of time you learn so so and these are unmatchable learning trust me and nobody can teach you if you do not punch the uh, order in your hand and no and you're squaring of the losses in your hand feel the pain okay fine i have lost x amount of money which was out of my profit out of my capital now what do i do um, 25th uh, february morning i was shaken up and i had to do a tv show and uh, show no emotions and that was also difficult show no emotions to my uh, team guys my family it was difficult but uh, do i have the uh, skill set to relive it again i wish i don't have to experience that thing again but do i have the skill set yes i have earned it so on those things for the market because market is going to teach you lessons that nobody can and uh, i am not sure if i i have started preaching or things like that but i think you know i just shared a bit of an experience whatever that i have felt over a period of time um, anything specific i can answer but uh, and apologies if i have got drifted too much or whatever that is there but yeah that is that is uh, what i would say so that was absolutely beautiful very enlightening and very inspiring sir thank you so much for sharing so much of wealth of information with us uh, of course we have a time limit so i so we have a lot of questions in the comments of this space so i'll pick a few which i find uh, are repeating often and are uh, kind of very important for everyone and they are kind of related as well i believe sir so uh, uh, the three questions that i kind of believe are related and are very important one is Uh, so one of the questions that keeps coming is how do we get started in this second is uh, uh, how do we be disciplined and third one sir is related to what you kind of already touched upon but i i personally want you to thoda sa expand on this as well uh, you said about you should know yourself your style your nature when you get into it so i think the discipline part the starting part and knowing yourself all three of them are somewhere connected somewhere so if you could throw some more light on these points sir see i think uh, the discipline part is this you know till the time you do not have uh, you have not created a buffer system you need to take those singles right ones twos threes kind of thing without trying to do anything you know adventurous kind of thing and and over a period of time you know ki now you can deal with this kind of things let me kind of know see if I, if there is any opportunity where i can make a kind of no bigger money um, i think i think uh, discipline is that you know ensuring ensuring that you know, not over leveraged or not taking too many positions protecting your capital uh, on little but at the same time consistently over a period of time and once once that um, profit account goes up then then that conviction will you yourself will once you start making profit not necessarily every day or not necessarily every week let's say month and month if you start making profit over a period of time you yourself will uh, understand ki you are turning yourself into a pro trader or you know good trader or things like that and 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 don't compare yourself with anyone else especially twitter uh, you know experts and you know twitter mtm screenshot and everything it's your own game it's your own capital it's your hard earned money so respect that make whatever percentage return that is absolutely fine with it fine with you without jeopardizing the survivability uh, in the business uh, i i is like you know the risk of ruin should not be there uh, do that if at all you are profitable in a big manner that's a different story but uh, well, the point is ki try to be you know do your best to be in the game for the longest period of time so take those singles twos and try to increase your profit uh, figure and uh, over a period of time i'm pretty sure uh the confidence level will go up and over a period of time you will see ki okay fine now i can go for you know little more higher returns and things like that and it will come from within it will not that somebody has to tell you and you know when you're going wrong the moment you punch an order you know ki whether this is a hope trade or it is a perfectly good rational trade that i have taken rational trade mein stop loss hua to hua that's okay stop loss to ho gayi but agar hum hope trade kar rahe hain hum mujhe dekhte hain kaisa hota hai do teen lot le liye usko fir hum 10 lot mein convert kar liye and doing average on the money matlab uh, premium niche ja rahe average karte reh rahe you know you 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 are drifting away from the discipline so these are the things that you can kind of look at so yeah and another thing matlab if i if i if i talk as a buyer matlab um, you know specifically buyer i don't have to be right all the time i i really don't have the um, objective of you know being intellectually correct all the time i have no no uh, intention of you not know, being intellectually correct my uh, my my only objective is that ki uh, how much alignment that i can do with the market how much of thinking that i can do with the market 
and and when the time is right uh when the time is right to kind of you know hit that six hit that four i should be able to spot that opportunity spotting that opportunity is critical and then then obviously depending upon what kind of capital that you have what kind of risk management that you have you need to pull the trigger so first you need to spot that uh, trade okay fine this is what it is looking good b uh, can i take a trade yes or no and if i'm taking what kind of a risk that would be associated with it so these are the few things you know that that can be done right absolutely thank you so much for sharing that sir so uh, two more questions that i find interesting uh, small questions one is uh, how, uh, how do you decide uh, stop loss if you can throw some of course it, it may be a very wide answer but if you can throw some light on it uh, how do you decide your stop loss and second one is pretty interesting uh so of course uh, we are all of us are in here to make profits and grow our capital so uh, how does uh, one is there any change in strategy uh, when you when your capital size increases or is it the same or uh, your view on it sir yeah addressing the last question is obviously the strategy would be different if your capital goes up uh, you cannot uh, be kind of not doing the same thing you have to evolve as a trader to accommodate bigger capital and you know try to um make returns out of it you cannot really um, you have 100 crore that means ki um, would you be buying 30 crores of options every day it may not be but uh, at the same time let's say uh, there is an opportunity and there is good profit and uh, if i if i were there in that situation can i buy 50 70 shares of worth of options yes i will absolutely go for it but so it all depends upon personal uh, kind of no experiences ki how well you have managed to kind of you know have that positive or negative experience kind of thing uh, i'm i'm sorry i i missed the first part of it which and that would be right so uh, how do you decide your stop loss okay stop loss see technically speaking you know, all, all of us know about you know intraday may view up ke niche chala gaya 10 to ke niche ke chala gaya super trend you know uh, rsi gone below ema of rsi you can come out of it um, let's say you use hekinashi candle uh, try to see ki super trend ke niche hai ye is giving a negative signal well these are the things you know, which is pretty basic but very very useful in a manner but um, my stop loss is always stop loss on the view i i if my view is not uh, is kind of you not know, gone wrong or you know whatever that i was thinking market is not doing that and i would rather kind of you know, put my stop losses on the entire this thing i do not ki ha ye 100 mein hai 90 mein dal do stop loss hoga to i i'll just exit my positions and that, it's personal it's not that this is the right way to do about it but if if my view has gone wrong i don't need to be in the business of you know doing what i'm doing because it just might enhance my losses that that has already been there so uh, intraday basis mein uh, pick up any indicators pick up any kind of a candlestick and try to uh, fix it up uh, try to identify which kind of a time frame that you are most comfortable with 5 uh, minute 15 minute or whatever and uh, and uh, on a larger perspective it is all about views uh, so so if the view has gone wrong it has gone wrong uh, there is no point defending it not that you cannot reenter again you can always reenter again but जैसे मैं सौ में ले गया हूँ वो ऑप्शन अभी पचास में आ गया है माई व्यू एज गॉन रॉन्ग राइट सो बेसिकली आई शुड नॉट बी ट्राइंग टू सी ए सिचुएशन वेदर फिफ्टी रुपीज का प्रीमियम इज गोइंग टू ट्वेंटी रुपीज दैट्स नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन सो सो गेस आई एक्ट विथ फिफ्टी रुपीज का लॉस एंड लेट्स इन केस मार्केट इज टर्निंग अराउंड आई कैन ऑलवेज री एंटर एट एवन सिक्सटी सो इट इज नॉट अबाउट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी पॉइंट इट्स अबाउट हैविंग द व्यू इंटैक्ट द व्यू इज नॉट नो मोर देर बुलिश ऑफ बियरिश आई वुड रादर एक्जिट माई क्वेश्चन विद वट एवर लिटिल लेस दैट आई कैन मेक लिटिल लॉस दैट आई कैन मेक rather than trying to defend my positions in option buying there is nothing like adjustment there is nothing like defending your positions you are right you will make a killing if you are not right try to come out with minimum least amount of no uh, losses so yeah absolutely brilliant sir so just one more question uh, so all right so we have entered a trade and uh, it's it's going good so how do, is there a way to know that this momentum will continue so that we can per, keep on pyramiding in this and with multiple strikes maybe so typically matlab the answer to be is that ki uh, the option chain will give you bit of no uh, kind of no signals uh, 
um, if, you're, if you're seeing a bullish texture in the option uh, chain where let's say you know call writer, writers are unwinding their positions and then heavy put writing that is happening in the money and things like that uh, or maybe even at the ATM the P writing is happening I think those are the signals that you can get um, more than that I think you know also what you can look at so basically I trade in Nifty and Bank Nifty I try to analyze the option chain of four or five private banks of uh, Bank Nifty HDFC, Kotak, ICC, Axis, State Bank. And I think I'm pretty much done. Indescent also. And uh, if I have Nifty, anyway, I'm having the positions in Bank Nifty, I have an idea. Um, I'll just add HDFC Reliance, uh, maybe uh, what in Asian Paints and things like that, three, four more stocks. And I'm pretty much done with the index. And trust me, if I if I don't have the understanding of the 15 scripts that you're talking about, uh, then we'll not have the understanding of the index. So basically, I'll try to find out ki how exactly the three, four companies, those days, jo jo stock rally kar rahe hain upar ya niche, un stocks ka option chain in correlation with the index ka option chain, I think we'll pretty much have an answer ki what kind of you no know, texture is getting built up. So so that is how it is. Right. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, sir. Uh, so we of course have a hard stop on time rate and of course sir has given us already so much of our time sir we have over 1000 listeners listening to us right now this is absolutely amazing I don't remember the last time we had 1000 people listening to us at the same time uh, but uh, this is amazing so before we part can we have a final maybe short concluding remark or an advice for our listeners that you can uh, give us advice is that whatever I said don't think about it just follow your you know thing that you believe in um, there will be many experts that will keep coming and going so called experts including myself if they call me an expert I think you know just believe whatever that you are doing that that is good if you have the result in front of you and uh, don't have to listen if I had listened uh, quite a few guys 4-5 uh, years back or 3-4 years back I would not have seen the other side of the you know, story. So most of the time, if if some if I tell somebody that option selling is bad, and me not doing option selling, it will be unfair, right? So I think try to listen to whatever that kind of you no know, trader that you are, whatever that you are doing. Try to find few people in the same domain. I'm pretty sure that there are some people at least in some domain and who must be doing great work. And try to see their views and you know try to learn because see, I'll tell you one thing. I think in in this profession. All of us, all of us, all of us lose money, and somebody who is starting new, let's say, just into a year into the trading, and you really do not have to burn your money, burn your uh, uh, capital, uh, lose that emotional, you know, balance, uh, because somebody has already done it, right? Uh, of course, you know, uh, try to learn ki what not to do rather than doing what uh, you need to do, kind of thing. At least you'll save not only a few years of, you know. Uh, pain, uh, capital, uh, kind of you no know, going down and things like that. Um, so, so just discover yourself as a trader. Matlab, you know, that's that's all. Matlab, I'm pretty sure there's so much of content uh, that is available, be it YouTube, be it uh, Twitter, and everything. I wish uh, when I started out, uh, matlab, you know, I had access to things like this. Uh, matlab, you know, everything has been uh, trial and error method. You keep going to you know, as a laborer you go to the market see if you can do some work make some money and come back home that kind of thing so over a period of time that is what i have been doing and it's just that you know over a period of time you get an idea you find kis kis jagah se jane se paisa acha milta hai as a laborer and we are just laborers in the market right we just go and see market aapko kitna matlab whatever little that you know whatever hard work that you can do how much market is rewarding you so keep discovering your spot where you need to go in the market and you know try to discover as a trader what kind of trader you are and uh, markets a kafi acha paisa banta hai i'll tell you uh, with lot of you know if you have not uh, believed anything out of me which is absolutely fine uh, absolutely fine uh, at least believe ki markets a kafi acha paisa banta hai don't get into the narrative only 5% make money the rest 95% are people who are looking for tips they are kind of you know, making trying to quick money and just trying to you know, time pass ki hame thoda kar lete dekh lete if you are sincere if you are uh, having the dedication if you are uh, hard working working on yourself focus there is no way market will not reward you so have that faith market se paisa definitely banega you just have to focus on yourself improve your craft and uh, be alive to face another day and i'm pretty sure you will make money in the market yeah that's just beautiful, sir. That's just brilliant. Thank you so much for all of that, sir. I really can't thank you enough. I don't have the words to thank you enough, sir. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. 
<laughs> sir also i would love to uh, request you to please please allow us to host you one more time and learn more from you whenever you have some more time with us sir yeah we'll see we'll see in future no worries <laughs> Thank you so much for that sir. Yep. And of course our beautiful audience tonight thank you so much for your patience. There are over a thousand people with us right now and I'm sure so many more will be listening to the recording. We are already getting so many requests for a recording of this podcast. Uh this was absolute gem sir. Thank you so much once again. Yep. Pleasure is all mine and uh, I hope I did not bore too much to all the people who joined and uh, thank you thank you for your time. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh thank you so much sir once again. Thank you so much everybody. Have a really good night and a profitable day tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye.